If you're balling on a budget, don't worry. Today I'm going to be breaking down the three ways that I have made a ton of money and gone from nothing to a knife multiple different times. Now for this, we're going to be flipping skins, and there's a couple different strategies we can utilize here. Strategy one is going to be utilizing floats. Now we're going to be placing a lot of buy orders for trade-up skins, and once we get those specific skins, we can either do the trade-ups or we can sell them off for a profit. Looking at this trade-up right here, we can see that the Dreams and Nightmare skins are valued at about eight cents a piece inside of this trade-up, but the float is very restrictive at 0.091. That's really low, but if we want to look at the outcomes, we're making almost 130% profitability on this trade-up. Four out of five times, we're making money, and we're making a lot of money when we hit this. Therefore, what we're going to be doing is placing a decent amount of buy orders on all of these skins. Now, there is buy orders that are going to be ahead of yours, especially at a nine cent price point, but the biggest thing is you're going to be able to place up to 10 times your Steam balance in buy orders. So if you've got $10, you can place $100 in buy orders. Now, don't do it just on this trade-up because we got a lot more profitable ones coming up in just a second, but this is a great starter level trade-up. Skinland is today's sponsor, and they're giving you a $10 bonus with code MASTERSHINY just to try them out. They're my go-to selling spot with the highest rate for sellers, and it's super easy to use. They're going to be currently the best option, paying over 100% when you use that $10 bonus. They're super trusted when it comes to transactions, and it took me just about two minutes for me to get my over $200 from this Emerald German Gander. They've got tons of different payout options, and they're also going to be having a super low fee buyer's marketplace. It's super easy, tons of deals cheaper than Steam, and tons of different deposit options. This deal won't last forever. Make sure you check them out today with that top link in the description. Instead, if you got the budget for it, this is going to be my number one example to go to. It's going to be a Danger Zone collection trade-up. We're going to be looking for field-tested skins below a 0.1875 average float. Now, this is a very hard-to-get float, but this is a very profitable trade-up that's very easy to do. That's because we're going to be using the scavenger here, 52 cent buy order. The biggest thing on the previous trade-ups is either getting the skins or selling them off. It's going to take a decent amount of time. That's not the case with this trade-up. That's because you're going to be the second cheapest buy order here at 52 cents, and the best part about it is you don't even have to sell for higher than market price to make your money back. Plus, when we look at our outcomes here, we're guaranteed profit. We're going to be making about 60 to 65 cents on average every single time we do this, and it's going to be no risk. And here's another example of a very similar trade-up. We're going to be utilizing the Fracture Collection here, looking for 0.2 or below on the float in a 37 cent buy order. Now, this is a great example to show one of the cons that comes with the strategy. Unfortunately, it's not perfect. The biggest thing is going to be the fact that you're not always going to be able to break even if the market changes or you utilize a trade-up like this. We're buying this Galil at 37 cents. We're only able to sell it for 40 cents, meaning we're losing a singular cent every time we resell a skin. Now we're making 75 cents every time we successfully do this trade up, so it's not too big of a concern, but it's very important to note that it's not guaranteed profit, even though it's a no risk trade up, unless everything in the market stays the exact same, then obviously it's going to be guaranteed. Now for our second method here, you need to install something on Chrome called the Steam Inventory Helper. It's very popular, very well known, and it's going to make your life 10 times easier. That's because for this method, we're heading back over to the market, looking up an older collection. This one I went with the Chroma 2, we're going to be looking for stat track and mill spec skins. These are going to be the perfect area for us to find a lot of profitability to happen. Now that we got that done, we're going to be clicking through all of these skins. We're just loading them up in a different tab, and we're going to be showing you exactly what to look for, starting off with this right here. This is the Negev Mana War stat track field tested. Now it's currently having a buy order of 32 cents, but the current market price of it is around 37 to 38 cents. This is enough of a margin that we can make profit off of a skin like this. If you want, you can go ahead and place that buy order of 32 cents, but we're looking at a lot of competition right here. As you can see, 122 other buy orders at 32 cents. Although the margin is big enough and we could go to 33 cents, it's not worth it because there's a lot more profitable examples out there. We can look at a skin like this, the MP7 Armor Quarter in Battle Scarred. It's going to be stat track once again. If we want to look at the buy orders, we're going to be placing a 40 cent buy order if we were interested on this skin, and it's going for about 49 cents, which is going to be a 3 cent profit for every skin that comes around. The biggest thing here is you do need to realize you are taking a little bit of a risk if you're looking at Battle Scarred and well-worn skins just because they are a little bit more volatile, but this is not a bad profit, especially when you've got it spread out around 30 of these skins. You're going to make a decent amount of profit as long as you can keep track of what price point you need to sell them at. However, that's just one case, and one case that's a lot more profitable than the Chroma 2 is going to be the Gamma Collection. If you want to look at it right here, we can see that this Ice Capped in Battle Scarred stat track, once again, is going for a 66 cent buy order, but it's currently listed for a dollar. Now, obviously, it's not selling that often, but we're not looking to do tons of volume, and especially in this case, we're looking to do a lot of profit on one or two trades. We can make a 20 cent profit on a 67 cent buy order for this item. Absolutely insane. Or if you're looking to do a lot of volume, we can look at something like the 5-7 Violent Damio right here in Stat Track Field Tested. It's currently got a buy order of 40 cents, and it's currently going for about 48 to 49 cents, which is a 3 cent profit, which is absolutely insane for the volume of this item. It's a very commonly sold item, which is not too common to find when we're doing this flipping method. Now, there's two big cons that come along with this method. The first one is going to be time. 
it's very time consuming to go ahead and find these skins specifically, especially compared to the trade-up method, which literally takes you just mere seconds. This one's a lot more invasive, a lot more aggressive. It's going to take time. The second one is going to be the fact that you can definitely lose a lot more money this way if for some reason you screw up. If you buy a skin and you suddenly have to sell it off for a loss, if you bought 10 of those, it's going to be a very unprofitable adventure, but that's more so on you rather than the overall method. You just need to be very meticulous in this method. Method number three is going to be some of the most popular ways, starting off right here with websites. Now, website flipping is a very popular and very lucrative method, but it's not one that I personally get too deep into, which we'll talk about in a quick second, but take it out this skin right here. This is the AK-47 Redline and Field Tested, one of the most popular and iconic skins out there, and you can buy it for $17.59 on GamerPay, which is a really cheap price point compared to some of these other marketplaces. Now, including the fees it's going to cost you to deposit onto GamerPay for the first time, it's going to come to an approximate value of $17.86 for you to go ahead and buy this skin. But if we want to look at D-Market right now, this skin is selling for over $19. In fact, we could sell it pretty easily for $19.40. Now, unfortunately, we're going to be running into a 4% selling fee on D-Market, which is okay. It's going to cut into a lot of our profit. That's going to leave us with $18.62, which is a grand total of a $0.76 cent profit on D-Market here specifically. Now, in my personal opinion, there's way too many cons that go along with this method for it to be worth it. First up, the fact that it's going to take at bare minimum a week of the time that you receive the skin for you to actually send it back out. That's a lot of time where the price can definitely change. The second of which is going to be the fact that you have to have a lot of money on a lot of different marketplaces. It's not something that is just like the Steam market where you've got one place where you're depositing your money. You could potentially have 10 to 15 different websites that you may need to have 10, 15, 20 bucks on for you to go ahead and actually make some profit and there's going to be deposit fees to go along with that. This is a very rich man's game, especially when we're talking about websites and I think a lot more people are going to have a lot of time that they need to invest just to get started inside of this area. It's not a beginner friendly area. Second part of the third method is going to be hype items. Now looking at the Loving Eyes Hollow, there's a lot of controversy that's gone on with it in the past couple of months where it shot up in price. We're not too worried about why, we're specifically worried about the fact that it shot up 2, 3x and there's a very strong profit potential there for some people but I don't think it's going to be worth it for most. A lot of people end up getting burned inside of this area because remember, anytime you buy an item from Counter-Strike, you're going to have to wait 7 days before you can relist it on the market and that eliminates a lot of your profit potential. As you can see, it can drop off very quickly. One more example of hype items here, we can talk about something like RMR Hollows. We can see that you could buy them off a third party website for significantly cheaper and sell them on Steam and this is a very profitable method. Be careful though because one US dollar outside of Steam is not the same as one Steam dollar. These are not equal currencies. Usually it's a very big drastic difference and a lot of people get burned thinking they made a little bit of profit when they actually lost out. Now what should you do specifically? If you've got a lower budget, I would highly suggest you stick with just flipping items and doing the trade-ups occasionally. If you've got a decent size budget, I would definitely do trade-ups and flipping items. Overall, these are going to be your two best bang for your buck options. If you got a little bit more than that, branch out, but I would highly suggest avoiding anything in method number three. That's all I got. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day.